It looks primitive, but Silotum is actually a modern fern, it has no true leaves or roots, and follows a simplified body plan, one that echoes Earth's earliest forests, go back 400 million years, to the Devonian period. This was when life had just started greening the land. Rhinia, one of the first vascular plants, looked nothing like modern trees. It had no leaves, no flowers, just simple branching stems, and Silotum is a living echo of that world. Silotum looks leafless, not because it never had leaves, but because it evolved to lose them. Its stem divides into Y-shaped forks, a pattern known as dichotomous branching, also seen in some of the earliest land plants, it doesn't grow roots either. Instead, it has tiny underground rhizoids, absorbing water with the help of fungi. This ancient alliance, the mycorrhizal partnership, was likely one of the key innovations that allowed plants to conquer dry land, so it looks extremely ancient, but Silotum is not a direct survivor from the Devonian. It evolved independently, much later, by losing complex features that its ancestors had. In evolutionary terms, this is called secondary simplification. It is not primitive, but it evolved primitive look. That means Silotum is a reminder that evolution doesn't always move from simple to complex. Sometimes, going backward works better. Instead of seeds or flowers, it reproduces by spores, like ferns and mosses. No pollinators, no fruit, just dust-like particles carried by the wind. And even today, in tropical forests, you can find it, a wiry, leafless survivor from deep time, a plant that reinvented simplicity, and proved that sometimes the future looks a lot like the past.